Okay, today we're working with this right here and it's cornstarch and water. And like you can see, if I poke my finger in here, if I push down, it doesn't, it resists. It's a liquid. I mean, you can break up. Let me get a piece out of here. I'll show you. See, look, this is a liquid. So it melts. It's a liquid and it's not a liquid all at the same time. I mix this kind of thicker just because I want it to be more resistant to stopping uh, high speed projectiles. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back and shoot this and just see what kind of uh, what it does. As you see, I mean, it's kind of interesting stuff. I mean, if you squeeze on it, it crumbles like a powder. But yet, you watch, it just melts right back together. So that's kind of interesting to me. Going there real slow. Can move your fingers real slow too. Yeah. All the way down the bottom. Yeah, it moves so slow. <laughs> well, down at the bottom, but I'm not feeling anything. I'm gonna have to speed this up, so I'll make this. And Here's that bullet. Hopefully the slow mo is catching more than.
All right, it looks to me like it's going down, so I think it did go all the way through. I see another dent in the bottom. No? Yeah, it's got another dent in the bottom. So it did go all the way through. Let's see, it's gonna be right here. And there's that bullet. Mushroomed out really good. Of course, it stopped against our bulletproof uh, cloth in there. Look at the kind of energy this had. It had almost a thousand foot pounds, yet it did not go all the way through less than six inches of cornstarch. And look how long it takes it to solidify after the impact. Pretty amazing stuff. So I'm thinking that this stuff, it, it seems to work better on the higher sp speed projectiles. Well, let me see if I can dig out that 3220, maybe some of those 22 bullets. We can roll this stuff out of the way. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here, you know, some bullets right here. Some fragments. It's probably going to be the 3220 right there. Or maybe not. Maybe 22. That's going to be the 3220. Well, it looks like that higher speed. Ooh, there. There's something. That's the core. It looks like the higher speed stops the bullet better. Because them slow 45s went right on through. I figure that 3220 moving 2,000 feet a second was going to either bust the container or move right on through. Let's get on down there and see if we can find some more than 22. It's hard to get it to peel up off the bottom. You can see all them lead fragments right there. You peel it up off the bottom. I don't think any of these are a full bullet. They're just fragments. Them bullets are pretty much, the higher velocity are just blowing up a whole lot worse. We may try to shoot it with a 30-30. Because if that 32-20 didn't go all the way through, maybe the 30-30 won't. Big difference between the 3220 and the 3030. <clears throat> okay, so you know we shot these two first. These are the two 45 ACPs, and these here were P plus loads. These were the 45 ACP, and these were these are just coated bullets. These are not even uh, jacketed. These are copper coated bullets, and these were going. Uh, like 890 feet a second. These here was going a little over a thousand feet a second. So, and then the next I shot was these two right here, which this in here is the Hornaday Critical Defense, and this in here is the Federal, and they did not go all the way through. These did not go all the way through. These went all the way through both buckets into the Kevlar underneath. So, uh, then we shot this right here, which is the 32. Uh, 20 and uh, it did not go all the way through and it didn't even really dent the bottom of the container uh, that thing was moving about 2,000 feet a second this is the last one we shot which is the FTX it's the Hornaday FTX it was moving 
about 1100 feet a second and it went all the way through and out the bottom into the Kevlar. So it's kind of what we have here. So higher velocity, higher velocity, it stops better. As you can see, the higher velocity, it actually stopped them in, in the uh, corn starts. These lower velocity went all the way through and out the bottom. These right here actually dented the bottom of the container. Um, but there you have it. I guess I forgot to mention the little 22s. This here is the 22 Stinger. And this here, I don't know which uh, one this one is, but it's one of the 22s, probably out of the pistol. And we didn't, this, I'm not sure what that, that is. But there's your 22 Stinger. That's all that's left of it. It's real nice and shiny. That's one out of the pistol.